This is a electroplating type of question. How long is required for 12 grams of aluminum, excuse me, to be produced from the electrolysis of molten AlCl3 if the electric current is 15.2 amps? So we have 12 grams of aluminum. We have a time interval, or we're asked for a time interval. We're given a, um, we're given an amperage. So we know that 15 amps is the same as um, 15 or 15.2 amps is the same as 15.2 coulombs per second. So 15.2 coulombs per second. Now what we can do with this information is basically start with our amount and work backwards. We know that 12 grams of aluminum is the same as we got 27 grams per one mole. 27 grams of Al is one mole of Al. Okay, so that means that we're going to be making 12 divided by 27, 0 0.444 moles of Al. Now, where is that aluminum going to be coming from? That aluminum is going to be coming from AlCl3. And so now we have a relationship between our starting material and our solid. And we know that our aluminum ion, or our aluminum is going to be formed by the reduction of Al3 plus to Al. So what we're going to be able to do with this is we're going to say, 0 0.44 moles of Al, well, we are going to be saying that one mole of Al is going to be produced from three moles of electrons because we know our reaction Al3 plus plus three electrons yields Al. So we're basically looking at a ratio of this to this because when we can get it to electrons, then we can get it to uh, coulombs per second, and then we can get it to a time by way of Faraday's constant. So this is going to mean that basically we've got 0.444 times three. So we have 1.332 moles of electrons, okay? Now, with that in mind, what we're going to move on to thinking about or kind of step back to is we're going to say 1.332 moles of electron. Now let's relate it to Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant is 96,485 coulomb per electron or per mole of electrons. So one mole of electrons are going to be produced or are related to 96,485 coulombs. So now that we've got it to coulomb, now we can write, relate it to our amperage, which is coulombs per second. So I'm going to solve for 1.332 times 9, 96,485 equals 12,8518. 0.02 coulombs. Okay, so that's uh, 128,518 coulombs. Okay, so now what we want to do is we relate our number of coulombs per second. So 1285, 18.02 coulombs. We have our amperage. So 15.2 coulombs in one second. And well, I'm just actually going to, rather than figure out number of seconds, I'm going to figure this out in terms of hours. This asked for time and I could solve for seconds, but I'm not going to, instead I'm going to relate it to hours. I know that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So what I'm going to end up with is simply hours. So 128,518 divided by 
15.2 times 3600. And that gives me, that's not right. That's right. 120. Okay, so. Two point three five hours. Okay. Essentially, another way of looking at all of this is to look at it kind of as in, in the opposite direction. If for two point three five hours you apply a current that has an amperage of fifteen, or it is fifteen point. 15.2 amps. So that is going to apply 15.2 coulombs every single second. So you're sustaining that for two and a half hours. That's going to lead to a production of a total of 128,518 coulombs. Well, one coulomb is equal to the same as one mole of electrons which is right here. So when you apply that current, you're going to generate a grand total of 1.332 moles of electrons. That is going to lead to the production or the reduction of 0 0.444 moles of aluminum. 0 0.444 moles of aluminum is the same as 12 grams of aluminum. So this is kind of uh, like one of the problems that we work through in lecture, but just from a slightly different angle. It's the same sort of thing that you have to navigate through in terms of calculations and drawing relationships, but this is just a, a kind of elaborate um, dimensional analysis problem, which I think that you all have demonstrated you, you definitely can do. This is one that you just have to focus on, what am I doing and why am I doing it? I hope this is helpful.